Hello all, hope you are all doing well. So today let's discuss about uh, the journal CTL or the journal D inside system D. So initially when system D replaced the traditional init script, it implemented its own logging system called a journal. So it removed the need of running a syslog based service to read the system log. So with the journal all system events are written inside the journal. So in order to view the journal status, you can use systemctl status systemd systemd dash channel d. To do that, you can see whether the service is loaded so we can see the service is loaded it's active and running so it's being triggered by system d journal d dev log socket and journal d socket and audit socket so if you need to refer the documentations the documentations are written in the man pages system d journal d dot service and man journal d dot con the pid is being displayed the main pid of the system d journal so it may have some subsystem like uh, sub process identifiers. So the status is like processing request. Task is one and the number of uh, task limit is 3392 for this system. And it's uh, showing the C groups. So down here if you look like it's showing that some journal files are not open due to insufficient permissions. That is because uh, I'm not running this as like a root user or a super user. So in order to view your full log, you need to have root permission or your super user permissions. So bear that in mind. So your log configuration will be like in most Linux distribution, your journal configurations will not be persistent. So by like particular number of reboots, they will like, uh, they will be cleaned and new logs will be entered so if you want to like for some purpose if you want to make your logs persistent your uh, logs will be configured in slash hc systemd and journal t dot conf so if you open that with your text editor you can go down and you can see like uh, the journal and you have this storage option so if you want to make it persistent you have to uncomment this you have to uncomment this part and instead of photo you have to use uh, persistent if you do that your journal will be persistent so if you need to enable compression you need to uncomment that too so by doing so you can like uh, set your logs persistent so if you need for like some if you need to take your logs for some future reference you can do that but i don't need that for the, my system so after doing that configuration changes you have to do system ctl restart system d journal d system d dash journal d if you restart it's going to ask you for the password of your administrative user or your super user if you enter that your logs will be restarted like uh, your journaling function will be restarted with the new configuration changes in order to view your logs you can use journal ctl command so if you do journal ctl it's going to view like uh, some amount of logs because um I told you before like uh, you need to have super user permissions let's press Q and exit out of that so if you just type journal CTL like last time we are going to have like uh, so much information so by viewing such huge information it's not going to be like uh, easy to pass through something like it will be like tedious process so you can like uh, journal ctl um, you can specify the full path or absolute or relative path of whatever you are trying to get so you can uh, for example yeah, if you can use user if i do that i can get general regarding that and uh, the next thing is i can use 
flags like uh, if I want to set in like I want to view some sort of like options like you can use dash f to show only the most recent journal so journal ctl so if I'm specifying the flag dash f so I'll get like uh, most recent one then it will follow like uh, if you specify after the dash f if you specify some name of the system d unit it's going to follow that so it will give you like error log in real time so if you want to do this in background you can specify the path along with the flag f and if you want like you can send it to background by hitting ampersand if you want then you have other flags like for example journal ctl slash user lib slash system d system d if i do that it will go to the end of the file similarly you have like other flags like dash r instead of e you can like uh, use dash r flag so if you use the dash r flag it will give you the log in reverse order next is dash u like uh, you can specify some particular unit like uh, channel ctl dash u if you are having apache or ftp like uh, some unit you can use that so it's not seeing any messages because i don't have uh, all the services enabled so if you have like if you know the service name you can use that like uh, apache if uh, if your apache is enabled you can do that so for my system i don't have all those things so it's not going to show anything and the next some older system logs you can list the books so, so if you do journal ctl dash dash list dash books if you do that you are going to see like uh, some number uh, like you are going to see some number then some other number something like this so the first one which is representing the zero or one this part this represents the boot offset so 0 is for current boot minus 1 is for the boot prior to that minus 2 prior to that like that you get the idea so the second column this one it's the boot id this part is the boot id so it's telling you the id of that boot so we have like a, it's just one boot above and that boots boot id is this one and it's being represented by the specific timestamps so you can see the timestamp date and timestamps over here so if you want to view that you can use that to see all the messages from boot you can use uh, general ctl dash b it list like everything from the boot you go here like you have uh, with boot targets and everything you can view that if you want to and the next part is you're gonna view just regarding the last boot then use minus one so if you want to view some particular boot from this like if you want to view log of uh, for example this one you can use like general ctl let's go boot so id equals and uh, then you specify whichever you want so if you do like if you do the middle click it copies so you can view that so it's going to give you the log of the journal from that boot id you can use like uh, multiple options to filter like um, you can use journal ctl you can specify time and date so you can use like since and now so from now onwards it is going to like list 
all the logs like it will if you open up your file manager or something see like it's going to give you like logs in real time so you can press ctrl c to exit out of that and you can use like uh, instead of now you can use like something like some specific time since you can use like today tomorrow something like that you can use that and you can specify time with until and you can view like journal ctl based on process id so you have to specify your pid so so do want to for example so if you have uh, that process id or the specified it's going to give you the logs regarding that process id then if you want to get like uh, logs related to particular user you can give the user id so you id and you have to specify for example equals 1000 it's going to give me like result of this user because i know this user's uh, id is 1000 i know that so if you want to know your id like you can type id so it's going to give you your user id over here so you can do that then if you want to specifically like uh, get some messages like you can use like uh, let's go like transport you can use the transport and after the transport you have to specify what's you need like if you want kernel you can specify kernel so and uh, like st standard out you can use std out can you start to view like uh, standard or error outputs can you start and uh, can specify like uh, transport mm, instead of transport you can use systemd units so either you can do like dash u or you can use like uh, system d underscore unit you can do that and specify the unit of the unit which you want so like general ctl dash x e it's going to give you like just the errors you can uh, like if you get this you can use spacebar to go down or your arrow keys to go up and down you can do that and q to exit throwing like some error for some process you can use him ctl status and you specify the process name for like example apache I don't have Apache installed, so it's not going to show me Apache. Um, yeah. So if you specify the name with the status system CTL status system D generally, it's going to give you information about the process. If you're having some errors, it will be all, it'll also be displayed over here. And if you wanna like, if you do some configuration changes, if you wanna restart a system like service, you can use system CTL restart followed by the service name like for example system d dash channel d can restart that so most of the time you need super user privileges to do that and if you wanna like disable some service you can use disable if you wanna disable now you can disable like space dash dash now or else it will like disable from the next boot i will not recommend you disabling system d journal d but i'm just uh, firewall d for example so firewall d service has been removed so it has been removed right now it's not waiting for like next reboot or something it removed right away so if you want to enable that back you can use enable it's going to ask you for your super user password so it's going to make it come back again 